again, can't get it done away. Brighton won Manchester United nil, last minute penalty, given away by Luke Shaw, which, which is a really tough one to take because he was absolutely outstanding tonight. Yeah. Um, but the not being able to get it done against teams in the top half in the bigger away games this season continues, Marcel. Yeah, yeah. And I think this is like the second to last game now away to, to prove that it can change. I, I believed it was a, an opportunity to change that today, but again, it's just playing under that, that ambience of the crowd. I think Tanag's mentioned it before. Um, just we're not good enough. Um, the first time, it's like we only play for 60 minutes. Fair. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The first, I mean, Anthony chance, early doors. So we're talking about the first five minutes. Martial with the left foot chance, Rashford or saying the same side down that channel. We had opportunities to create a game. And then, and then even the opportunities that they have, Matoma, it's on our fault. You know, Lindelof mistake, a couple of other times where they get through. Matoma had a couple of other shots, but big block from De Gea. But I don't know, man. We play only for, 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 for 60 or so minutes. And then you have to look at it. Tenog has to make a decision. Do you go for it or do you shut up shop now? You know, around the 78 Because it was a tight game. Brian did dominate yeah. in terms of on the ball. We know that. It Especially was, second half. But it was looking like a Wembley vibe where the two teams just cancelled each other out. One team on the counter, one team on the front foot, knocking the ball around. We're trying to wait for transitions. But the decisive moment at the end, you know, the unfortunate handball. I don't know what Luke Shaw was doing. His arm was out. And we couldn't get it done. I, how do you think that leaves us men mentally now? You know, Liverpool chasing us down. Yeah. Um, and another important game against West Ham. away. You know, another uncomfortable environment for us. That might be six points dropped in a space of three, four, five days. Um, it's, it's a shame, really, because, I, again, I think the first half, we made a decent account of ourselves. We looked like the better side. But like you said, they, they had dominant spells. We, we, we'll mention it. You know, that, that little square that they have, the, the, the way that they build up from the back, it's like they don't even need to have a midfield because we commit so many players to try and understand what's going on and how they build up. And then before you know it, they're, they're entering into our third and, 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 and creating. It was, it was just so disappointing to see that, you know, we, we, we can't score. There's not, we don't have any, how many attacking actions do we have in the second half? Not yeah. ruthless, are we? Not ruthless. Martial is a striker, doesn't get many shots off. Anthony even got frustrated at one point. The, the ref didn't help us, I would say. You know, there was a couple moments there where Rashford has a, a, a foul, then Anthony has a foul and nothing's given. Then then Anthony goes and, you know, loses his head a little bit. Ultimately, Mas, the whole thing today is this mentality, you know, isn't it? in terms of we just can't get it done, you know. Uh, what is it about these second halves as well? Because how many times have we seen it? We saw it at Tottenham. At Villa, I know we won the game, but there was a clear difference between the first half and the second half. Yeah. We keep seeing it. Second half just nothing and to your point flex man you mentioned it mentality is one of them i i, I want to be nice about it but and, and you shouldn't be at this level but the consistency of games at some point the legs it, we only play really crisp and nice football for 50 or 60 minutes i remember you saying ten hog was not going to like this there's too many transitional moments we're, we're giving away the ball casemiro careless with the football especially in the first half so many times yes strong with the with the defensive side of the game putting in the tackles and, and, and all of that but Careless in possession, the transition turning over the football so much. In key moments, Martial slipping when, when, when we're making good counter-attack breaks. It just, like you said, it's mentality. Be strong, be brave, hold the ball, you know, keep, get us into the game. Keep it into the opposition's half. Because that's just it, I mean, game management in the second half. If you think like, OK, the handball's unlucky, his arm's out or whatever, he's conceded it after having a good game, Luke Shaw. But us not being able to control the game, you know, we kept letting it come back, it's coming back, has to be last minute. Uh, blocks or putting it out for a corner or a David De Gea save or a shot wide by Solly March like we're not stemming the flow yeah. and that is where you have to respect Brighton because at the end of the day they just kept coming yeah. they weren't they weren't peppering us but they just kept coming though yeah, yeah. like you said Roger team like you say they're just really really organised you know it doesn't matter who's playing where they're really clever triangles at the, in, in that defensive line it's really good and and we haven't got the forward line players that want to go and press in a certain way and it's difficult to it i'm not saying that's an easy job but um we we just need to take we, we need to come back from this and, and win the next game can we you know west ham away tough 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 game now you know then all of a sudden you're looking at it i said i think liverpool are going to win all their games and they are hunting us down now yeah. Do you worry about top four now, the scrap for top four? Is it a scrap? Is it a scrap for top four now? I mean, I mean, like you said, because the mentality is not right from the players, it can it can be dragged into that situation. But we ha it's still in our hands. It's always been in our hands. Of course. Win the home games and, and, and mm. shut up shop. That doesn't change. That yeah. Does, yeah, you know, the, the, the job's done. But like you say, it's been a whole season. I can't remember a top side away from home where we're, where we're able to play with confidence. 
you know, be able to play with uh, with and look confident on the ball. We just don't, we just don't have that ability. And, and Ten Hag's looking lost for options off the bench. Even I think maybe maybe you could say Ericsson should have come on to try and control and steady the ship. Lots of transition moments. But the big players, like I say, Casemiro, you, you want him to be a little bit better on the ball, a bit more assured. I think Wambasaka done brilliantly against Matoma. Fantastic tackles in that first half. He's Wambasaka's a special player defensively and get 1v1, but it's still not going to get you wins. You know, what are we going to do in the forward line? Delo didn't offer himself enough in the forward line today and, and, and added himself to the attack. I mean, Anthony as well, you want to see a bit rashy. You want decision to making, not yeah. the decision making hasn't been quite good enough. You know, and, and it, it was poor. Even even Marshall, there was a moment where he maybe could have cut it back to somebody. I think when he has his shot, he could have maybe delayed it and had a cutback. But we, we, we've had a good season. We've had a good season. We have to put this in the context of the fact that we've had a good season. We're in this position. We've earned this position. They have to now have the mentality, like you're saying, which is lack, to get this over the line. Mm. I mean, <laughs> the Brighton fans behind us, you know, singing, you've seen the Albion now, F off home. And yeah, obviously they celebrated it like that because at the end of the day, they've, they've done fantastically well. But, you know, this is what we knew would happen in terms of going, coming away from home. And I was, I was called negative. Yes, you were. Yeah, don't be oh, pessimistic or this, that and the other. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. It's reality, harsh called reality today. Exactly. Um, can we bounce back? I know I kind of asked, but to finish off, can we bounce yes. back? Yes, yes, of course. We're, it's, we're Manchester United flex. Do you know what I mean? We're, and 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 we have to have that mental. He's put out a strong side today. It's not like it's not like Ten Hag doesn't want to win these games. Always reserved. He's going out to every single football match. He puts out his best side. Expect that from him, and expect that again. You know, that he's got to put out the the, the 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 statement that we want to win and and finish the season strong. We've got a big game at Wembley coming up soon. So these kind of performances. Where, where it's uncomfortable environments, they have to get used to that. And you, and you can see they're not good enough, but against West Ham, I think we can do the job now.